<laughs> Hello, you're joining me, Kevin. I'm with Jared and the Hobbit. We're on the smallest sofa that we could possibly find, and we're here to talk about the Kids Beatboxing Show. Mighty Kids Beatbox Comedy Show. Get it right, Kevin. That's the one. Please subscribe. I do live streams and celebrity interviews, and hit the bell to find out when I release new videos. So uh, let's jump in. Career highlights. Career highlights. Career highlights. Now I know one of the biggest highlights for you was right when now? you this. Uh, right <laughs> this, now right this. now. The yeah. closeness, yeah. Yeah. yeah, the love. Uh, but you met Steve Martin at one point, right? I did meet Steve Martin. You've, you, you've met some proper awesome people, but I did a, a TV sort of stand-up special in Canada at the Montreal Just For Laughs Festival, and mm -hmm. Steve Martin was hosting it. Um, so yeah, he introduced me. It went pretty well. Uh, and afterwards, he sort of back-referenced one of my jokes, which for comedians is a really big deal. I, I I was buzzing out from having such such a good gig that I didn't even hear he was doing it, and all the other comics were like, "Listen, mate, listen, he's back referencing your joke," and so I was like, oh. <laughs> and then um, <laughs> and then I met him at the side of the stage. There were three of us standing there because we had to go on for a curtain call or something, and he came up and just said, "Hey, great show," you know, and shook our hands and stuff. He shook my hand and said, uh, "Great show," and then I just sort of froze up and I went, "You were." great as well <laughs> um do you still enjoy performing and he kind of just went yeah i guess so and then he moved on and one of the other comics turned to me and said do you think that went well you know do you think i might meet steve martin maybe yeah. i should prepare something you just thought i'll wing it in my panic so yeah i met him he was now, great i interviewed someone uh, a while back who said yeah, he wasn't that that good after you know kind of people went oh, really? kind of, yeah like it, more personable when you're kind of in a one-to-one -one kind of situation yeah. with him they found him uh, uh, you, I, you didn't have that no no not at all i think I, I mean was that person a comic that was a comic yeah okay that's interesting because well i mean who knows you know different people different night right but that <laughs> night he was um he was he was lovely and he was very generous of his time you know, there was a lot of people backstage, and he was he was very generous with his time. You know, but um, I don't know. I just played it cool. You know. Yeah, why not? You yeah. just play it cool when you meet these famous people. You've been like really starstruck by someone. You met someone. You'd be like, oh. Um. I used to do a uh, film review show back in two thousand six on a digital channel that nobody watched. Okay. <laughs> um, what was it like? Uh, it was uh, called Rapture TV. It was Ra called I that remember, film show. I remember Rapture TV. TV. It was mainly a dance music station that Classic. for some reason did a film review show. Classic. And uh, But we actually got some pretty big fish on that one and it was great. Um, interviewed Tom Cruise and uh, Hugh Jackman, uh, um, uh, Kurt Russell um, and Woman as well. <laughs> and a woman. <laughs> no. Plenty, plenty of women. <laughs> <laughs> I just realised I was just listening blokes. But, um, uh, what's her name? You know her? Oh, yeah. Yeah. She's great. She was great. She was amazing. She was, yeah, yeah, sure she was but you great. did a show with Run DMC? Yeah. Supported Run DMC, which was great. Slick Rick. Supported Gabrielle on tour. That was fun. Did and she do you ever, been, you ever been starstruck by any of these people? Run DMC was pretty starstruck. Yeah. I didn't know what to say to them, really. I just waved. Okay. <laughs> Hello. They wouldn't let us take a photo though, which was sad. But ugh. Yeah. That's so photogenic though. Yeah, they are. It's weird. Maybe it was us. That is weird. Maybe it was us. Yeah, could have been you. Um, I don't think I've been. Uh, I was starstruck when I met Robin Williams. Okay. That mm. was that was proper starstruck. I've got a Robin Williams story as well. What's what's yours? It just wasn't really a story. I just I was in LA, and uh, I got. Uh, tickets to a show that Robin Williams was on at. It was a lineup show Eddie Izzard was hosting. And um, I'd worked with Eddie Izzard a few times and at that time had the same management. Uh, so uh, Eddie Izzard hooked up me and a friend up with tickets. And oh my God, Robin Williams was amazing. I just fanboyed out. And then afterwards, you know, we're in a sort of backstage bar. You know, Robin Williams is just right there, and I'm thinking, just talk to him. This is your chance, man. Just talk to him. Talk to him. I couldn't do it, mate. Couldn't do it. I just sat there. You can't do it. Couldn't do it. Sat there watching him, and just being, no, I'm, I don't want to. I don't want to be a dick. Is essentially what. And I was afraid I was going to be a total dick because yeah, yeah. I, was, I was so excited about meeting him. So I just sat within the vicinity of him, and that was kind of kind of enough. I heard him being funny to other people, and that I really appreciated that. Mm. 
I got him to uh, on the red carpet for Happy Feet 2 yeah. I got myself an inflatable penguin I got him to do his favourite line from the movie into the inflatable penguin Oh yeah. and it had quite a big nose and he said that it was a very phallic mascot right. and then he did uh, this kind of uh, I believe this like weird kind of penguin kind yeah. of accent and I was just I was done I was yeah, good yeah. I was like everyone else who came I was like I don't give a shit I just yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who are you you're yeah, in modern fa- I, I don't care go away yeah yeah yeah, there was a bit of that, eh? Yeah. Uh, but my biggest freak out was Ricky Gervais. Oh, really? I went yeah. to a press thing for Derek 2. Same as you. Saw him. And I was like, I don't want to be a dick. I don't want to be a dick. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is not the time. Yeah. No. Um, I did Panto with Priscilla Presley. Um, and she was fantastic. And, you know, when you're working with people, you just... That starstruckness, you, either you get over it and deal yeah. with it, or you're going to be the worst person ever to work with. Yeah. Um... And uh, I did Panto with Torval and Dean. Legends. Uh, and they were so cool and so amazing. What was the Panto? What was your character? Uh, I w- it was uh, Cinderella. And so I was, um, what's his name? Is it Buttons? Buttons, yeah. Buttons. Yeah, Buttons. Uh, and I did um, Peter Pan with Vern Troyer, Mini Me. Um, and uh, obviously before he... Um, Passed away. Uh, <laughs> It'd be a bit awkward after. Yeah, tough show. He's tough on show. the post though, what? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, you, I think, and the line of work that we're in, like your beatboxing and stuff, mm. and, and being in the beatbox collective, you guys get to work with yeah, huge you get to work with musicians and stuff. And support crazy people that you're just like, yeah. I listen to them growing up and um, performing before them. Yeah. So it's good for them. But also, we're starting to work with Jared. And he's obviously been in the comedy game for a couple of years. So when he's on first name basis with comedians that you've seen and you're like, oh, I'm just casually having a beer with someone that I've yeah. watched on TV. Like, go, you can name drop. It's all good. We've got a great photo of you with Greg Davis. Yeah, hugging because Greg's rather tall. Yeah. What are you? Five foot yeah, seven? Five seven. Five se- and he's, he's a whole seven, foot yeah. bigger. So just, it's just me hugging his yeah. waist, basically. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. It's great. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Now, I want to jump to uh, worst moments on stage. Mm-hmm. I know that you've got one involving uh, stand up and a razor brand, but uh, before oh, I go yeah. to that, before I go Thank to that, I was just wondering if you've got any worst moments. My worst mo- one like of my choking or losing your voice. One or? of my worst moments, one of the first corporate gigs I did for a company, which was, I can't remember the company, it was at the Birmingham NEC. We were doing it, it was like an expo. And halfway through the set, I'd managed to smack the microphone into my nose and got a nosebleed. <laughs> I had to run off halfway through the set. Amazing. So that that was definitely. That's I think did you come back with tissue up your nose? Yeah, you, yeah, you did. That's exactly you what did. I did. <laughs> blood on my blood on my arms. I went, it's all right. The show goes on. <laughs> and the head of my I had that microphone until recently. It was still stained with blood. Oh, nice. Oh, right. Nice. I didn't like tell it, I didn't tell anyone that I let but use it that day. Like it got used in a murder. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. And did you manage to escape your uh, your gig without any blood stains? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so that Wilkinson's the sword gig. Wilkinson sword. Uh, sponsored stand-up competition and I hosted it uh, and I was in a tiny uh, village in Wales hosting a show and it all kicked off um, and uh, two guys got wrestled out of the out of the venue and then waited around afterwards to beat me up um, so I had to escape out the back of the pub over their neighbour's fence well, why couldn't you just go out the front because they were going to beat me up. They were going to beat you up. They were outside. Yeah, the police police came. Why did you? Like these guys were uh, members of a there was a local gang, and so the police came and were basically like they are waiting for you. So were you own... going for them during the show? Were you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, because they were disrupting the show, so I just slammed them. Um, and at one point, what level of language can we use on this? Uh, you could go for. I'll, I'll, I'll okay. beep it. So what happened? I'll beep it for YouTube. Podcast yeah. will be good. These two guys uh, were. <laughs> you can, you can, you know, I'll, I'll tell you. Yeah, the, yeah. The first, these two guys came in after the interval and they were in, sitting in the front row and they were just uh, under their breath uh, telling me to f off um, and sort of go, f you prick and all that sort of stuff. Uh, and so I thought. You know, I got the audience all up for it and stuff, and then I bought because these acts were the comedians who were coming on. It was all part of this competition, right? Mm. So I was like, I don't want to. I've got to get someone on. So I got an act on because I knew they weren't gonna. They had it in for me for some reason. And I went to the back of the room and said to the bar manager, I was like, those two guys weren't there in the first half, and they've been, you know, 
quite aggressive towards me and the manager looked down and then just went white as a sheet and he went they're banned from every pub in this town I don't know how they got in here we've got to get rid of them and I was like well wait until this guy's finished his five minutes and get rid of them while I'm on so I go on right and I go ladies and gentlemen we're just going to have to stop the show uh, and then turn to those guys and went guys you know you're banned from this pub so do the right thing and just leave and they were like make us leave and I was like I'm not going to make you leave someone else will make you leave because the police have been called so why don't you guys leave and one of them goes why don't you f off I was like I'm not going to f off because I'm the host of the show and it'll be a pretty bad show uh, if I if I f***ed off um, and then the guy uh, turned to the audience and just started going who wants me to stick around this guy can f*** off who wants and I mean mate no one wants to stick around because it's not a show for you if it was a show for you There'd be a big picture of a, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that I think oh, the term is Jesus. pouring gasoline on a fire. Yeah. Right, before that moment, were you kind of were you weighing them up? Were you thinking I could I could have him? I could no, have, is that why not you... in the not in the slightest. Okay, you know they were pretty rough looking, but at no point did I think that it would turn into fisticuffs. Uh, but what? So I said that line, the whole place like people went <gasps> like, oh my god, this has escalated. And then the the bar manager and one of his bar staff came down to and and the one of the bar guys grabbed the guy and the guy took a swing at him. But the barman bent back and the guy overcompensated with his punch and ended up falling into another table and hitting someone at another table. Jesus. So that table gets up and then it turns into a cowboy film. Amazing. And I'm on stage, just like, I think I think this is kind of my fault. Um Why don't you just lick it? Why don't you just go couldn't get out? Because the only way off the stage was through the audience. Oh, you were trapped. You yeah, were trapped. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the, yeah. your own little island up there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I thought the smartest thing I did was shut the f up, uh, because I thought I could commentate on this. Wouldn't part of me was thinking, wouldn't it be funny just to do a fight commentary on this? But people were genuinely getting hurt, and um, people in the audience, loads of them, dragged these two guys out, chucked them out, and then sat down. And all I could think to say was uh, afterwards, go, God, don't you hate it? when you come out for a fight and someone builds a comedy club around you. Um, <laughs> nice. Yeah, and then they called up their family and um, that was that. the police got me to sneak out the back into the next door neighbour's yard, <laughs> hide in the next door neighbour's house. Well, next door neighbour, what, what, was there a fence? Did yeah, you, yeah, I had to climb over the fence. Like a big fence or a small fence? Uh, it was a big fence. I had to climb over like a it. six foot fence? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It was an easy climb though, you know, because I, thankfully on the pub side had the you know, the support beams going mm. across. Uh, and then I stood in that guy's house until the Wilkinson sword rep, who was driving a mini with a big Wilkinson sword out the top of it, so not subtle at all, <laughs> pulls up. The guy opens the front door for me, and he's like, go, go, go. And I sprint out, jump in the car, and we got a police escort all the way out of Wales into Liverpool. And then we had to drive Liverpool to London. Yeah, it was pretty horrible. Jesus. And it was before the internet. It was like 2003. Okay. So the internet was around, but people couldn't easily search yeah, yeah, for you. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? If it had happened in the days of social media, I think they would have hunted me down. And they would have hunted you. Yeah, yeah you'd be dead but by then. that is not the worst moment on stage for me. <laughs> <laughs> what? They're still looking what? for you, you know. They probably are, yeah. yeah. This probably hasn't helped. <laughs> yeah. Genuinely not the worst. Um... Oh, you're not, you're not kidding? I'm absolutely not kidding. I've had... Uh, I don't think I'm a, an aggressive or uh You seem kind of cuddly. You don't seem aggressive at all. No. No. And I'm not... I don't think my stage persona is that I'm an arsehole or a prick or anything. But I've had pint glasses thrown at me, bottles thrown at me. Um, I, in Christchurch, New Zealand, I had a, a, a guy come on stage and try and punch me. And um, I got booed off stage at Watford. Uh, Classic Christmas party A group of plumbers Just didn't like me They threw a bread roll at me <laughs> I caught it, it. Yeah. I caught it Did a twirl Took a bite And said Needs a bit of butter <laughs> <laughs> But got nothing They hated me so much It got nothing Was that when you were just starting out? Or? No No That was That was maybe 2008 2009 oh, okay. I've been Not going a good sort of 10 years, years. Yeah um, But it was It was at Christmas time It was at Jonglers Which mm. notoriously just you know, people. Sh one person booked their Christmas works to in a comedy club. Everyone else just wanted to get hammered. Yeah. 
So there were n notoriously tough gigs at times, especially that Watford one. Yeah, that's the only time I've been booed off. Have you ever been booed? No. Heckled off? No. He just turns it into beatboxing. Yeah, yeah. Like, Boo! <laughs> and just wind them up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Boo! <laughs> Hobbit just wants John Wick to win Best Picture all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's got a dog in it. It's got a dog in it. It dies, though. Whoa, spoiler. 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 That's what starts it all. That's what starts it all. <sighs> kill, don't, kill, don't kill Keanu Reeves' dog. Your kids? I think Bad Boys 3 should have won. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> Bad Boys are back. <laughs> that would have been a storm. What you going to do? Uh, what you going to do when, when we, we come, come for you? you? Pay you more money to do a third film. No one knows the next line, yeah. apart from me. Can you beatbox the like? Do you know the lyrics? Of course yeah, I don't try and keep in time. Go on. I can't keep in time. You saw the show. Go on. <laughs> bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? And no thing no money. <laughs> Got a kind of country and western out at the end. Yeah. I kind of feel like a little banjo is coming out. What yeah. is the next line? I don't know. What are you gonna do when they come for you? you? That's what I said. That's it. And then it just, just repeats. repeats. It just, just repeats. repeats. Yeah, that's, repeats. That's, yeah, that's song, it. Yeah. That's the whole song. Shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But your show, how did you come up with the idea? Because I, I, I loved it and I was in there. The kids loved it. Yeah, the adults loved it. Yeah. The grumpy dad loved it. Yeah, yeah. they all loved it. They yeah. all loved it. Um, well, the, the genesis, I guess, of the Mighty Kids Beatbox comedy show, <laughs> uh, it started out as an adult show. Yeah. Uh, what did we call it? Party Time Bitches. No, that was a later one. That was man. later. It was just um, called Jared Christmas and Hobbit presents the beatbox, beatbox. or game show party. Yeah, have come it was and have a very fun. clunky like bonanza, yeah, extra yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It was in there at some point. Yeah, motherfucker um, was in there. But uh, <laughs> yeah, so we, so it started out that because myself and Hobbit first met uh, at a hip hop comedy night called yes. Dong 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 yeah. at Rich Mix in London. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that was great, wasn't it? Was it? So good. It was, so it was a mix of comedians uh, and a bit of hip hop in there. Yeah, was Hobbit DJing. was the house band, I was the host. And we were just on stage at the same time. So it was like, should we mess around? And we just started once a month doing that show and messing around and yeah. started developing quite a nice little nice bit of chemistry, yes. really. No. You do you kind of seem like a bit of a husband and wife, or husband and husband couple on the, yeah. On the stage. That's, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's a spark. Yeah. I mean, I like brothers. But, you yeah. know, let's chuck a little bit of sexual tension in there as well. Yeah, why not? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely feeling it, right? Yeah, we're close <laughs> enough, yeah. Um, yeah, and um, I just noticed that there were beatboxers starting to do the comedy scene. Uh, and so I rung up Hobbit and I said, look, there's a gap in the market. Let's do this. Yep. And uh, then we realised if uh, I stopped swearing... We can do the show for family. Yeah, we can do the show for families. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, and it's been great developing it, isn't it? Yeah. Basically, the only rule is, if at any point I say to Hobbit, I've written a rap, uh, that's when Hobbit puts the brakes on and goes, no, <laughs> never will you do a rap. It took us uh, a lot of rehearsal with the knock-knock joke that we do, where he's oh, yeah. to say knock-knock and when to the knock-knock pattern knock knock to the beat. I have to... Do my arm yeah. to get him. Okay. I'm not great musically. No, but we make I've always it work. Yeah. How, how do you get that wrong? I don't. I don't get it because you just go knock knock. No, no, no. You, the, when I say knock knock, you say so, you've got to get that in rhythm to his. Yeah. Beatboxing. Oh, oh, right. Okay. There's a certain yeah. yeah. There's a certain flow. Yeah. So you know, music is a big part of the show. But what what I've always done is celebrated my weaknesses. Yeah. Um, and that is being in time, being in rhythm, <laughs> singing. Definite strong weakness for me. Yeah. So I that's... noticed he took more of a back seat with the beatboxing yeah. and oh yeah, but that's his thing. Yeah. yeah, do you know what I mean? So in the past, I've interrupted that and messed around, but we've only got an hour, and there was some shows that were going for an like hour yeah. twenty, you know, and it was like, yeah. no man, we're gonna. And actually, it, it is a, there is an art. There is an art to children to family shows. Mm. Is it, you got to keep it clipping along? Yeah, yeah. Do you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Like we we could mess around and get laughs from the adults and maybe the kids, but they get tired and bored quick yeah so basically a tight slick show is the best option for yeah, kids. yeah still having the chaos that we've got yeah 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 and i think it was when we took the show to edinburgh last year and we had the amazing rob Deering come in and help direct the show for yeah. us which definitely because we're quite loose on stage with and we, you know like jared said we could just keep going for ages but it was having that 
having those moments where you're like keep it going along because yeah. otherwise you could spend half an hour on yeah. one routine and then yeah absolutely <laughs> um you know we could stand there for you know we could do half an hour of kids just getting up telling not not yeah to. exactly um yeah so rob Deering is a comedian I know um, Rob's. Song yeah, he's now. been. He's, he's uh, you know, know been. A, uh, he's been like a top comic on the on the stand up circuit for like twenty years. Yeah. Um, he's a fantastic director because the the secret is, uh, you know, so much work behind the scenes to make it look like it's just a little bit of messing around. Mm. Yeah. But in actual fact, it's it's structured. We know what we're doing. Because we could go up and mess around, but then it would be flabby. Yeah. 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 And how, how did you actually refine the kids' show? Were you kind of practicing on your own kids? Is, is that how it works? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, Develop stuff with my kids, um, you know, because I'll run an idea past them, and if they get involved with it and sort of laugh a bit, they're a bit used to me now. So I tend to go, hey, what do you think of this idea? And they go, yeah, it's good. I'm like, okay, I'll run it past Hobbit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a big kid anyway. Yeah. I mean, you don't really know until you get it in front of... Yeah. You get an inkling, don't you? Yeah, there's a lot of trial and error of seeing what we're... And we've done some shows where we tried new routines and it's just completely... No. Gone wrong. Yeah, what, what didn't work? What, what uh, the one where I uh, put... Oh, uh, yeah. Like, post-it notes all over my body of different sounds that Hobbit can make. So then, and I'd have to touch those parts of my body. Well, this is for the adult show. <laughs> Uh, and I, for a laugh, I put one down on my on my uh, nether regions, <laughs> and people would just punch me in the dick. Yeah, all the time. <laughs> it made the best sound. That's it, why. It, yeah, of course. It wasn't it did, anything yeah. to do with the placement of the. Uh, Constantly just punch, flicking me in the dick. Or and then we thought we shouldn't use that in the kitchen. That would not. Yeah, that would not go down. You'd be no. carted away. I think yeah. pretty pretty. Quickly. Been in a lot of trouble for that. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Uh, you you, just, you do just genuinely get a feel for it, don't you? Can we finish with some, that was a good answer to yeah, my question. Cool, cool. Yeah, well done. Uh, can we finish with some beatboxing, something from your show? Of course. Kick it! <laughs> when I say knock knock, you say who's there? Knock knock, who's, who's there? there? Knock knock, who's there? Interrupting pirate. Interrupting pirate. <laughs> 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 Um, it gets lonely being a pirate, doesn't it? It gets lonely being a pirate. And there were two pirates on the poop deck, uh, and, and one pirate says to the other, do you ever get lonely as a pirate? And the other one's like, yeah, yeah, sometimes I do. And he says, uh, have you ever had a parrot? And the other one says, no, I've had a cockatoo. Not what I asked, mate. <laughs> Not what I asked. Why pirates mean? Because they are! What's a pirate's favourite cheese? Parmesan! <laughs> I will also accept cheddar! <laughs> or Gorgon Zolar! <laughs> um, Any more uh, pirates? Oh, did you hear about the two pirate ships that crashed together? One was blue and one was red. They were marooned! Hooray! Oh, I tell you what, I love hearing about how people build uh, ships. It's riveting! I thought you wanted pirate jokes, man. That was well, yeah, not really. But you yeah. just silenced me yeah, out of the end. I silenced you. Bought, sort of I had flashbacks end. to Watford Junglers. There we go. Just get your bread roll. Yeah, yes. I can do. <laughs> Needs a bit of butter, mate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, guys, look, thank you so much. I, I really appreciate it. That was in depth. That was in depth, wasn't it? Really found out a lot about us. Yeah. All right, cool. All right, cheers, guys.